It is back to work for everyone, including the Miami Heat. And they arrive in Atlanta tonight, minus one very key player. And with 29 games left in the regular season, the push to the playoffs starts tonight as the Heat visit the Atlanta Hawks right here on Fox Sports Sun at the top of the hour. Question tonight, who is in and who is out? A couple guys will win right there. Mari Stoudemire and Goran Dragic will play an impact tonight. That young man, John, should get plenty of minutes. Yeah, he's going to get some good run. They're going to need his defense out there. Justice Winslow ready to go. Is Dwayne Wade ready to go? Chris Birdman Anderson, good to see you, sir. An absolute pleasure. You had one play in the game where you did your, you know, your signature right there. And then the next time, it was a technical. Did you get an explanation on that? I don't need an explanation. It's a nice suit. The electric blue is it's not anything to be upset about. Did you plug it in? No, I haven't. It's just... Was it a, a, a concerted effort tonight to, to come out and impose your identity on the game? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> do, this, is, this is our night. We're going to do our... Yeah. OK. <laughs> Did you just call me a senior? I said senior veteran. That's what I said. Bird-like. Bird-like. You're a bird. That's not even the a way word. you do it. I Birdzilla. I made <laughs> you're the best, man. When you guys are playing your best basketball, that ball starts swinging around. Well, you comfy? I'll tell you what, Jackson. Mm -hmm. And the losing's over. Why? What? Why did the losing streak end this evening? Because we won. Well, let's just have a moment of silence for Birdzilla. Thank you so much. Jackson Zillow right here. That is so loud. My bad. <laughs> yes, exactly. Birdzilla. <laughs> Gonna miss that dude. I'm gonna tell you that right now. On Tuesday, Miami sent Chris Anderson to Memphis in a three-team deal, which led to the acquisition of Brian Roberts. Yesterday, the Heat traded Jarnell Stokes and cash considerations to New Orleans in exchange for a conditional 2018 second-round pick. Also yesterday, the Heat tra traded the newly acquired Roberts and a future second-round pick to the Blazers for cash and... That was all after just a couple days on the roster. The All-Star break is over, and tonight in Atlanta, Georgia, the NBA season resumes for both the Heat and the Hawks. Two teams separated by just one game in the middle of that Eastern Conference playoff chase. And on a mild night in Atlanta, welcome inside Phillips Arena. Tonight, the fourth and final meeting this season between these two teams. Heat have won two of the first three, and we hope you enjoy every bouncing basket of tonight's game right along with us. Miami Heat basketball is live and on Fox Sports Sun. We say good evening to Heat Nation. It's great to be back with you, and thank you for joining us for Miami Heat Atlanta Hawks basketball here in Atlanta. To you by Miller Lite. Game was on the line. Ding. Ding dong's a three. Mick Roberts with a rainbow tip in straight from basketball heaven. Drockets with a strong drive. And then the dish for a dang dagger. Luol Dang, yes, the field goal up and good. Day. Proud of my guys. This is Chris's tweet shortly after the victory. Hashtag Heat Nation. And a lot of players have said they were playing hard for CB and wishing him well, hoping he gets back on the court soon and healthy. And CB watching his guys proudly tonight as they come up with this victory. Well, his scoring really led the way. He he took a lot of shots for Luau, 11 of 17. He made 30 points, uh, really did a nice job moving well without the basketball. Look at him here along the baseline, catching and finishing. But he was able to create off the dribble a lot tonight. Look at him getting on top of the basket. I mean, look at him here again, spinning, stepping back. He just did it all, both attacking the rim, uh, finishing outside with mid-range jump shots, beating his man off the dribble, uh, even knocked down uh, a three-point shot. Got to the free throw line 10 times, too, so you can tell that means he was aggressive driving uh, the basketball and, and forcing contact. All right, Goran Dragic, another guy you expected to be aggressive. And, John, you talked at halftime, you talked pregame about the pace and the tempo. Well, the tempo really showed. They really got up and down. They knew they were going to have a smaller lineup. Atlanta was bigger on that front court, and they really got after it. Dragic led the way. Got off to a slow start shooting the basketball, but continued to not let that impact his game, and his floor game was very solid. Winds up finishing with 10 assists, had 17 points, getting it done in the second half, in particular scoring. Look at here, drawing the contact and getting to the line. I just loved his, you know, kind of reckless, yeah. pushing tempo mentality, attack mode, if you will, because I think he helped get everybody else involved. 
Uh, we saw a lot of the other players get some easier baskets because of that faster pace. As we come back, it is time for the Hennessy Never Stop, Never Settle moment of the day. And get out of the way, Lou Dang, big throwdown. That is what you call not settling. Big dunk by Dang, 30 points in the effort. And now we take a look at the Xfinity X1 locker room report with the thoughts of Lou Dang. Cleveland Clinic, Florida. John, you love this pass. The lefty point guard, Bano to Winslow. Hit him on the move, on the run. A couple lefties getting Oubre, involved. Oubre, yeah, hooking up Winslow. But look at the way that gets started with the defense. Yeah, Gerald Shot Green. Block, and they're out running two on one. That's fun to watch in that. Double-double from McRoberts. 19 points, uh, 10 assists to lead the team. Right-hand hesitation finishes. Again, he's a left-handed player. Uh, he played both sides of the floor, rebounded the ball well, too, had six boards. Look at him here running the uh, the ball off the off the backboard, able to go coast to coast and drop that pass off uh, for an assist. Up and under move here using his offhand, his right hand. Very complete game by him. Much more aggressive trying to score the ball. Sometimes he gets caught uh, looking to overpass. The defense plays off him. He was a real threat out there, and that forced the defense to guard him and allowed him to become the passer that he really enjoys. All right, so we see Mick Roberts with that huge performance. As you said, more aggressive, no doubt, from the start. A guy who never has a problem shooting and never has a problem being <laughs> aggressive is Gerald Green, and he was particularly aggressive in that third quarter. Oh, he was really getting after it in that third quarter. Uh, did a great job. Had 11 points alone on 5 of 7 shooting uh, of his 14 points he was the guy carrying the team in the third quarter when he gets hot he is very tough to stop the mid-range jumper clearly got going in that quarter yeah the confidence there from Gerald he likes to shoot it and when he gets hot like that it is fun to watch and it was in that third as he had that big performance helping the heat here hitting the three helping the heat with 17 or I should say 14 points but then Justice Winslow, from the start, John, came out very aggressive. You knew the defense is there, but what did he do offensively? He used his offensive um, ability to handle the basketball and to run the floor. Look at him here on the wing. Uh, he was able to receive passes from both Udra and as well as Dragic. We're, we're going to see McRoberts set him up here. He moved well without the ball to get to an area where he could catch and finish. Use that 6-7 length and athleticism to finish at the basket. Uh, did a good job rebounding the basketball, too. Look at that nine board for him. Uh, he's been an excellent rebounder uh, all year long from his position. So you're missing your two all-stars, your man in the middle, go on the road and win a game. That's how it works in the NBA, right? It's got to be. You know, <laughs> it was a big one for us uh, coming back after all-star break, and, and we, we sure miss those guys and hope to have them back soon, but uh, it was a good win for us. You guys are going to look back at this, and there are some of those signature wins every year. What do you think was most critical? Everybody's going to look at the scoring of the points. Might it be the way that you defended? I know they gave up 100, but still not allowing like guys like Horford or Millsap to have explosive nights. Yeah, I think um, we stuck together. We stuck with it. We had, a, we had a good lead there in the first half. They kind of came back and pushed us like we knew they would and uh, just kind of believed in each other and stuck together. And some guys uh, played pretty well for us tonight. It's rare that you have regular season joy quite like this. It's nice to see the brotherhood come together on a night where you're just not sure. I know coach says you have enough and you guys talk about collective grit and you talk about getting into the fight, but then doing it is a whole nother thing, isn't it? It is. Uh, you know, it's a lot of fun when it works out how you want it to work out. You know, we believe in ourselves and we believe in, uh, in each guy uh, from top to bottom uh, on the roster. So it's good for some other guys to get an opportunity tonight to step up and uh, be able to get a win and hopefully go uh, get another one tomorrow night. Let's do what you love to do. Let's talk about you now. Uh, there, there were some opportunities for you that usually aren't there. You talk about rhythm sometimes and how that's so important to what has to happen for you offensively because the majority of the time you're playing with a couple guys that obviously demand the ball offensively. Right. What got to that rhythm space for you that ended up in this type of output? Uh, miss CB a lot. And, uh, you know, some other guys have to fill in for that, you know, the scoring. We can't, we can't make up for what he brings. And, and all the things he does for us, but some other guys got to put the ball in the basket. Before I went in there, D-Wade said, hey, you got to look to score a little bit more. And uh, I was able to able to get some shots or, you know, just be more aggressive and look for my shots instead of looking for the pass uh, to start off with. Way to look and find him. Thank you for the time. I yeah. appreciate it. Thank you. We, uh, thank you about you, CB. We'll see you tomorrow. Well said, my man. Number four, off the floor. Critical on it, though, as the Heat win the season series over the Atlanta Hawks thanks in large part to that large man from the edges with this deliciousness.
We're coming back. Stay there. We'll be back tomorrow night. If you'd like to catch tonight's game again, tune in tonight at midnight. We replay all of tonight's action presented by your South Florida Honda dealers. This has been a presentation of Fox Sports Sun, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. For my partner, John Crotty, the one and only Jason Jackson, the great duo of Eric Reed and the coach, Tony Fiorentino. I'm Will Manso saying thanks for watching the Heat 9 strong tonight. Get it done in Atlanta. We leave you now with the final take. The point guard is my position. I'm like a coach on the floor, so you know I make good decisions. Peripheral vision, deceptive to most. Penetrate, kick it to the wing while staring at the post. Coast to coast, I can take you because I'm smarter. Handle the rock like N1 or Sean Carter. Make it work harder because of my skill. Dealing out the assist so my team gets a little thrill. I conceal the fact that I got D. Anticipate your mental and rip you like it's planned to be. I go behind my back between my legs, crossing free. But don't sack.